Welcome back to your Football Manager channel. This is FM Pepe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hey there, guys. How you doing? It's me, FM Pepe. Hope everything's good. Uh, we're playing a couple of games against Seville today. One in the Spanish Cup semi-final leg one, and one in the league. So, and then we play Man United in the Champions Cup first knockout round leg one. So I think. Seville and Man United, they're going to get our first choice players. And Seville, we may, uh, for a league game, we may use the second string players. So, um, Van Dijk is back. But he's lacking a little bit of match fitness. Uh, so I'm going to put him. Uh, let's see. I put him on the on the bench. Uh, put Milenkovic in. So we'll have Milenkovic and Koulibaly. Um, Kimmich will be at right back. Testegen in goal. Firpo at left back. Kante, Milenkovic, Savic in midfield. Uh, Lionel Messi on the right. Rafa on the left, who is, uh, I think, lacking a bit of match fitness. Then we got Kane and Griezmann up front. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe playing Kane and Haaland up front together. That could look a bit frightening. Um, who else can we put in here? We've got Wage who can cover both full back positions. Van Dyke, we're definitely going to give a game to uh, Van Dyke for sure. Um, I think we're good. Bruno Fernandez, Suso, Costa, Griezmann. Maybe we could. Nah, we're okay with that, I think. I was going to say put Danny Olmo in, but Danny Olmo can play the next game. We'll let him improve his condition. And all the players look happy there where they are. Look at all that green. The players are kicking ass. So, really good. Out of possession. High line. Um, I think we're going to distribute to the target man. And I think actually we'll overlap. Um, so we'll start to play it through the middle of the pitch and then look for, to get the wingers involved to put the ball in. And. Uh, I think we'll try and work it into the box. And with Kane and uh, Haaland in there, I think we'll float the crosses. So, that's us. Uh, here we go. Let's crack on and get to the game. We're going to be playing a 4-2-4 or 4-4-2, four, four, however you like it. And we're recording. Good. Let's see. Juan Yoran in midfield. Jesus Navas. Right back, Sam and Kia at centre half. Muniel Hadari up front for them. And they have Sandra on the bench as well. So they're, they're an okay team, Seville. They're none too shabby. Right. Give a solid defensive effort out there, boys. Right. I have faith in the attack, I think. Get out and make a difference. That's a little bit better than the assistant did. Motivated four players. Could have been better. So. Sevilla. With your 4 2 3 1. Let's see. Tell the players to get creative. Give them a shout. Come on, boys. We're all inspired by that feedback. Milenkovic finds Kimmich. Kante in the middle. This is good. Playing out of defence through the middle. Shame we just lost it. Um, Milenkovic Savic goes to put pressure on Navas. 
protecting Firpo a little bit. But it goes past him. Ronnie Lopez has a chance, and Ter Stegen would have dive but the uh, the ball hits the outside of the post and goes for a goal kick I am hoping that we uh, smashed them a little bit oh come on Kane loses the ball Milenkovic is treading mud there plays it down the line for Kimmich Kante inside to Junior Firpo Koulibaly out to the left to Rafa who's got plenty of pace feeds an early ball through to Erling Haaland it's tackled by Koundé but Rafa picks it up oh he's fouled that's a penalty Rocky Messer Lionel Messi will take the penalty no need for VAR there Lionel Messi now this will go to the right and it does what a guess goes to the right hand side left foot finish 11th goal of the season for him it's not been the most prolific of years for him. He's been better. But he has been playing out wide on the right. May move him into the centre. Um, for the rest of the season I think. Maybe a 4-2-3-1 with him in a number 10 role. I think we've got Suso and Leon Bailey. And a couple of players who can play on the right. Don't really need Messi out there, do we? Oh, but we need him taking corners because Sergei Milenkovic Savic gets on the end of Lionel Messi's corner as the players all do a funky chicken dance. Messi walking away like a boss. 2 0. Good header. So. Messi and Sergei putting us ahead. All good. We've had the better of possession. Better of the uh, shots as well. Oh, here we go. Going to half time now. Go to the dressing room. Very pleased to keep it going, lads. There we go. Guilherm Arana, the left back just picked up yellow card. Kimmich down the line to Kane who heads it on but Rocky Messer collects, gives it to Kia, feeds it back to Vaklik. Haaland had closed him down. Arana, the player who's just been booked, has the ball on the left hand side. Juan Joran back to Simon Kia. Looks for Campos, finds Munir Ladari, here's Vasquez, one of their leading goal scorers. Shadowed by Kante and Kimmich gets the interception, feeds it to Haaland. He's on the left hand side, he's looking for support. Finds Kimmich, he finds Haaland. Oh, it's over the bar, come on. Unlucky, lads. Unlucky, keep going. I might bring on Virgil van Dijk for Milinkovic now. Give him a good run out. I don't think he's going to be available for the. Uh, Oh, here's Messi. Messi on a run, just going right through the middle. Oh, keeper saves. There is Messi now. Whips one in. Oh, Vaklik saves. Okay. Let's uh, bring on uh, Virgil van Dijk. He's back from a virus bit like Pepe. Um, <laughs> Haaland hasn't done well so we're gonna bring on Griezmann and uh, we'll see if that makes a little bit of a difference. Give those players a run out. Imagine being in a situation where you can bring on Virgil van Dijk and Antoine Griezmann off the bench. That is just ridiculous. Here's Arana looking for a cross. Rafa heads it. Kane picks it up. Feeds it to Griezmann, gives it to Messi. Virgil van Dijk, out wide to Joshua Kimmich. Harry Kane now, oh what a dream team this is. Kimmich, back to Kane, shoots, blocked. Oh, Messi can't get there, Rana clears. Virgil van Dijk's going to pick it up just past the halfway line. He's uh, giving it back to Koulibaly. 
Sergei Milenkovic Savic looking for Rafa. Is he going to take him on? He does. He skins him. Oh, cuts inside on his right foot. And it's a weak finish. We are looking hell bent on being absolute beast of a team. All we're missing is Paolo Maldino or Roberto Carlos at left back. <laughs> otherwise, maybe Ryan Giggs at left wing. Otherwise, it's a bit of a dream team, isn't it? There's Kimmick to Kante. Over the top for Kane to chase. He gets hold of it. It's a bit more mobile now he's not got uh, Haaland there. Crosses. Rafa shoots. Oh, what a smart finish. That was a heavy, heavy hit. He smashed it. So Kane gets the player to commit to the ground. Sergi gets gets the ball, knocks it down for Rafa. Rafa with a smart finish and walks away like a boss. I think what we'll do here is Suso is probably needing a, a bit of a rest. Um, I think, oh God. We'll bring off Lionel Messi because he's played really well and deserves a break. And we'll tell the players to, uh, we'll tell them to concentrate. There's a few of them getting complacent. And they're overwhelmed by the feedback of being told to concentrate. How the hell does that happen? I don't get it. <laughs> Let's see opposition instructions. We'll ask the assistant, make a few changes. Here's Vasquez, picking up a loose ball, shoots, what a save by Testegan. He held on to that like he had Velcro gloves. Right, I'm going to demand more from them because they were, they were gits. Um, <laughs> Kante, Suso and Kane are just really complacent. Not good. Anyway, 3-0 up. Game's in the bag. We've absolutely bossed it. Virgil van Dijk finds Rafa. And he can't find anyone. Good header by Virgil. Suso. Kante. Chips one for Griezmann. Rafa plays one, one for Griezmann. Oh, he's put it in. Fourth goal of the game and fifth goal of the season for Griezmann. Rafa with a cheeky ball on the outside of the fullback. Griezmann with a run down the channel. Griezmann wins the header. Plays it round the fullback. Griezmann makes the run. Far right hand corner. What a save. Uh, what a goal, sorry. What a save. Bloody hell, he wishes it was a save. Uh, Vaklik. Unlucky, mate. Um. Lanny Oran played quite well for them. 86% um, pass completion ratio. Uh, let's have a little look at him. 26 year old. Good player for a mid table uh, Spanish team. Um, decent. Um, let's see. Thomas Vaklik. Six foot two, Czech Republic. Seventeen at one on ones. Decent keeper. Franco Vasquez though is one of their leading goal scorers, and you can see why. Uh, a proper number ten. He would actually do a job in the Premier League and certainly a top Championship club. Um, unpredictable attacking midfielder apparently. So he's one to keep an eye out if you. Looking to do a save. Appreciate your efforts, boys. Well done. And we have Seville again. This time in the league. 
Man United away after that in Europe. Man United game should be a good one. Classy Rafa on form. Superb pal, keep it up. And their manager Michel. He's disappointed with the result. As he should be. I've got the sunshine coming through the window and the dog's laid on the rug. <laughs> I've rearranged my office and they've actually got two dog beds and a really soft, proper soft rug that's about um, two metres long and one metre wide and she's just lay on the sun on this rug right now and she's just... she just doesn't have a care in the world. <laughs> oh, to be a dog. Let's see. Um, Sadio Mane. Oh, assigned Igli to scout. Top target pursuit. Sadio Mane. Reaffirm our intent in pursuing the player. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Um. Ano Tenas. Still going to keep him on loan. He's for a long because he's a good player um, Comas he's a decent young centre half actually Brian Penna yeah do what we'll do um, is we'll, when does the contract run out 2024 and 2022 okay Penner I think will trigger contract extension Comas will oh sorry about that <laughs> that was me mother ringing up asking me to buy my stepfather a playstation uh, so yeah gaming kind of runs in the family uh, <laughs> so, what we're going to do is do a full rotation, I think. Um, let's see, full rotation, there we go, boom. Let's see, Van Dyke still, still not altogether great. Um, so, it's still a pretty decent side. Simon Ingo, Wage on TT, Van Dijk, Juan Miranda, Bruno Fernandes, Danny Olmo, Leon Bailey, Douglas Costa, Erling Haaland and Luis Alberto. I'm pretty sure we played Erling Haaland. Um, okay. Um, let's see who's tired after the last match. Firpo's tired. Uh, Lionel Messi's tired. Um, quite a few lacking him in, in fitness here. Uh, Ruben Diaz is fit to go on the bench. And Swan Griezmann as well. Um, yeah. Okay, I think pretty good. We'll uh, we'll go with that. Apparently the Seville manager, Michel, has a plan for Harry Kane. He said, Kane is clearly an important player for them, but we have a plan to deal with him. Well, Michel. <laughs> We're not playing him. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> suck eggs. Um... Let's see, Rafa needs a bit of game time, doesn't he? Ooh, we already got Diaz on the bench and Milankovic. Do we, we don't need Diaz on the bench. We'll bring Rafa on there. So we got Milankovic who can play right back. Um, ooh, crikey, we got a lot of wingers here. We got Pedri and Fati, which are the two young lads coming through. We got Suso and Rafa, Costa and Bailey. I think we're going to have to start playing Lionel Messi in a number 10 role. 
So, and I think I'd like to play Luis Alberto in midfield before Danny Olmo. I, I want to play Danny Olmo as a number 10. Um, he's lacking a bit of match fitness as well, so. Let's bring Olmo into the number 10 role, Haaland. Into that centre forward, number 9 role. Um, Bruno Fernandes, we can play as a Mazzella, that's good. Luis Alberto can be an attacking playmaker and support. Um, this, this is actually a really good team. In fact, it's so good, I reckon we could take an absolute pasting. Because that's what normally happens when I put a good team together like this. We look really, really good, and then we get battered by a side we should beat. Okay, so... We're back... At the new camp... Against Seville, it's Groundhog Day. Um, this time we got Simon in goal, Wage on Titi, Van Dijk and Miranda across the back. Luis Alberto and Bruno Fernandes in midfield with Danny Olmo in front of them. Leon Bailey and Douglas Costa on the wings and Erling Haaland up front. And the physio did say to me that uh, we should only play Danny Olmo for 45 minutes. Um, otherwise he risks injury. And he's at 68% match sharpness. So, um, And there was some um, test for Umtiti and Van Dijk as well. So we may bring on Milenkovic. Um, and possibly, um, possibly one of the attackers. Um, maybe Pedri for Danny Olmo. Here's Leon Bailey anyway. Oh, D Douglas Costa. Oh, in off the inside of the post. Good goal. 1-0, people, after less than 30 seconds. Here's Douglas Costa picking up. Giving it to Leon Bailey. Two wingers connecting. He shoots. Vaklik saves. Danny Olmo plays it back for Douglas Costa, who just sweeps it in off the inside of the left post. Sweet little finish. And, uh, yeah. Good decision putting Olmo in there. Ronnie Lopez. Oh. Juan Yoran heads it over for a goal kick. Let's tell the players to get creative. Here's Wage. It's Bruno Fernandez, the Mazella. Douglas Costa with the header. Oh, the keeper tips it onto the post. And then it's been kicked away for a corner. Luis Alberto will take. They're coming under a lot of pressure here now. Oh, Virgil van Dijk's been booked. So it may be him that we take off. <laughs> uh, I, I always, always have players sent off in football manager. Oh, Escudero's injured. It looks pretty bad as well. Looks like he's broke his leg or something. That's more than picking up a knock. Ooh. I think Wage might have done him in. The silent assassin. Uh, it looks like he's on the end of the pitch now. I don't know if he's going to be substituted or whether he's going to come back. But uh, Virgil van Dijk after that. Um, potential foot injury. He's down 84%. He should be fine. he be right. It's just a flesh wound, Monty Python style. <laughs> just lost your foot, mate. It's just a flesh wound. Haaland, great little ball through for Leon Bailey. Oh, his pace took him through there. Douglas Costa. Oh, yes, as Navas tackles him. Um, Danny Olmo's definitely going to be a substitute player. We're going to take him off, I think. At half time. I don't want him getting injured. He's just back from injury. We've not had him for a lot of the season. Haaland for Olmo. Gives it Luis Alberto. Oh, he's gone past his man. Oh, Haaland gets the shot away, but it's blocked. Wage's doing alright. As is Luis Alberto and Douglas Costa. It's good to see. All of them composed. Douglas Costa's looking calm. And uh, 
Let's see. Get creative, boys. There you go. A few of them are inspired. A few of them are motivated. I may start to praise them. Um, here's Wage. Oh, oh, he's just been crippled. Campos took him out there. Dirty, dirty player. Wage, though. Oh, great ball for Haaland. He's through. Oh, Vaklik with a save again. Be a corner to Barcelona. Luis Alberto will take. Oh, it's headed out. Miniel Hadari comes away with it. It's out for a throw in. That'll be half time. 1 0. Um, let's see, it's got a dressing room. Go out and prove a point, boys. I like it. They reacted to it. Midfield. Um, there's a lot more to come from you. Okay, good. Uh, Danny Olmo. Who are we going to substitute him for? Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm thinking Griezmann and maybe um, leave Pedri a midfield player to come on for Luis Alberto and have Milenkovic come on for Van Dijk who's on 81% and he's looking fired up. So I think we've we've done an hour. We've played him for an hour now, so I think Right, Leon Bailey's not playing well. Sam Montiti's not playing well. Van Dyke for Milenkovic, because he's come back from injury. Um Danny Almo, by the way, I think he's doing really well. Seventy four percent. It's improved his match sharpness, but I'm gonna listen to the advice. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be smart about this. Um, let's ooh. actually let's just bring on Pedri for him. And who else we got? Leon Bailey's not playing well, so let's bring on. Suso for him. That I think is probably the right thing to do. So, here we go. Suso on the ball straight away. Looks for Douglas Costa, can't find him. Sandro sends it forward, and TT is there. Easy ball to Milenkovic. Luis Alberto. Miranda out to Douglas Costa down the left hand side takes on his man crosses oh Haaland heads it over Vaklik with a goal kick Haaland now looking for Suso oh he takes it on oh I am a god emperor football manager 2-0 Suso with the goal see that's how you do it that's just that's how you do it right there I mean, I'm I'm not saying I'm the best football manager in the world, but yeah, I'm pretty close. Um, <laughs> that's how you do it, people. I don't know what is the problem with managing Barcelona. I could do it blindfolded. Samon Titi to Luis Alberto, Milenkovic, and look at the signings I've made. It's like a, you know a Harlem Globetrotters team at the moment. I still kept some Spanish players in there in Suso and you and I here, Simon and Danny Olmo. Oh, Douglas Costa. Shoots wide. Uh, Luis Alberto. Pedri. Juan Miranda. Sam. Anzu Fati. You know, I'm still bringing through the Spanish players and keeping a core Spanish contingent at Barca. But the old guard, Sergio Busquets, we never talk about. We never talk about the side lacking in Luis Suarez. 
We never talk about the side lacking in Gerard Piquet. Because we got rid of the older players. Ooh, that was close. We got rid of the older players early. And set the standard. And said, right, younger team. Faster. More experienced. Um, players are going to have to move on. And we're going to bring two players. We're going to play. Good tick attacker. But essentially fast attacking football. And we've done really well. Milenkovic using his left foot even. There you go. To you and I, Simon. Looking for Suso. The Mazella Bruno Fernandez gives it to Sam Titi, Who gives it to Wage. Suso's through again. Can he pull it back? Or oh, is tackled by Kokia. Suso now. Finds Bruno Fernandez. Come on, Suso. Crosses. Haaland. Oh, top corner. What a header. His 12th goal of the season. Headed in. Assisted by Suso. That's, that's boys. Come on. That's an impressive 3-0 right here. Back-to-back -back victories against Seville. Who were sixth in the league, by the way. We beat them in the first leg of the semi-final of the cup. We've now beaten them in the league 3-0. With a rotated side. And look at that. 8.8 .8 for Haaland. 8 for Suso. 8.3 for Luis Alberto. 8.5 for Wage. Boys are bossing it. Absolute beast. Suso looks for Douglas Costa. Oh, what a finish. What a first time finish. Suso coming on has been dynamite. Oh, my word. Look at this. Mazella finds Suso. Left foot. Douglas Costa. Boom. Keeper just stood there. He couldn't do anything. Wow. Hang on. Just let me praise the boys. Here's Suso again. Looking dangerous. Miss Bruno Fernandez. Oh, the Mazella. Haaland. Oh, he toe pokes it in. Oh, don't you dare, ref. Don't you dare. Oh, has he reeled it out? Oh. Oh, he's barely... Come on, there's no daylight there. Oh, that was unlucky. They're all fired up by the feedback of being praised. Love it. Love it. 34 shots, 17 on target. 53% possession. Boys have done well. Appreciate your efforts, boys. Excellent result. There you go. Top result. We got Man United in the knockout round stages next. And uh, classy Douglas Costa on form for Barcelona. Superb, mate. Well done. So if we go here, 4 0 back to back victories. That's just incredible. Douglas Costa got a couple. Haaland got one. Suso got one. Suso in this game, by the way. Just absolute beast mode. Great substitution. 8.1. That's what you want. You want them to come on and make a proper impact. And uh, proper impact they made. And let's see. Oh, I think... I just saw Monchu and Penna. Yeah, Anzu Fati was available. He was on the bench. But Monchu, Abel Ruiz, and Ineke Penna, I think, have just become available again. Because otherwise, I'd have put them in the squad. Three 21 year olds. Um, all the Masia players. Penna, the keeper. Abel Ruiz, striker. He says inside forward, but I think he's a striker. Monchu, midfield player, um, deep line playmaker. Let's just go have a look at the B team. Let's see who we're going to be bringing through. Um, right, Rafa has no place being in a B team. He should not be available for them. Um... I don't want him available for them. How do I stop that? 
No, no, no. Until match fit, 20 minutes. Okay. I think that will put an end to it. Available for Barca B. Until match fit. Oh god, he is match fit. Just for the next match for 20 minutes. Okay. So Ricky Puig is in the B team. Let's see. We can move him to the Barca squad. Jorge Cuenca, centre half. We can move him to the Barca squad as well. Because it's February up here now, so we're going to get a few games coming in. Um, Jose Martinez, the left back. He's decent, he is. I think we're going to bring in Jose Martinez as well. Um, let's have a look at Nico. Looks like a decent young midfielder as well. Eric Garcia. Decent young centre half. Uh, Sergi Rosanas, a right back. Okay, decent. Tenas to keeper. And then we get probably a little bit worse after that. Yeah. He's he's not playing well at all. Let's send him. Um, let's see, he's 18, isn't he? Let's move him to the 19 squad. And Alcomas. Okay. He's 20, so let's loan him out. He's available for long, okay. Lucas. Young midfielder who's Brazilian. Let's have a look at him because he's 21, Brazilian. And he's been at Barcelona since 2017. 22 goals for the B team. Uh, sorry, 22 appearances. One goal, four assist. I think we can let him go. Um, add to a monitored list and sell at any price. Sorry, mate. I think you've got to go. And who else is there? I like Salah. Yame. Altamira. There's some decent players here, but I think we're going to have to uh, work with what we got in terms of letting the, um, basically letting the director of football do his thing, because we do have, let's see, is that 6.84 million? What do we have? I sold a load of players and then they gave us 200 million quid after I sold a load of players. Um, is it 63.6723. This is July 248 when we brought in all the money for the players. 77, 171. And then they gave us a load of money and we didn't really need it but they reduced the transfer revenue they reduced it down okay they rewarded us with an increased percentage 75 percent my god stingy so-and-sos and i'm still half a million under the wage budget Okay. Okay, request granted. Oh, don't want to make budget adjustments. Um, staff. No. Okay. So let's have a little look. 
Transfer revenue percentage increased to 75%. Number of coaches allowed. First team coaches increased to 18. Oh my god, how many have we got here? Wow, so they've given us an extra four. We had 14 coaches. And they've given us an extra five for the recruitment. Wow. Do we even need any coaches? <laughs> do, we, do we need them? I don't think we do. Coaching. Let's see who wants to be a coach. Um, oh, let's bang in another fitness coach. Um, let's see who there is. Right. John Sutton, John Goodman, Jose Sario. Um, he looks fitness coach, Don Goodman. He looks good. Alright. He looks very good. Let's approach sign. Um, fitness coach. For three years. Yep, signed it. No bother. Okay. Um, what about goalkeeping coach here, Victor Valdez? We've got to bring Victor Valdez back. We have to. Right. Let's see. Coaching. Um, coach. Let's see. Get him for a couple of years, maybe. All right, three years. We've got Victor Valdez back. Um, who else is the man management? Let's work on that. And mentals. Marcel Wagemans. Man management, motivation, and mental. I like that because we could actually use somebody who does specialize in that so let's improve the um yeah okay let's see we got one more Defending. Oh, he looks good. He can work with youth players as well. Um, Claude Fichot. I think this is the dude. Let's have him. Okay, four years at 4,400. Okay. So I th I think we've we've gotten some good players and uh, good coaches in there. Sorry. Um, so if we've inc imp improved the coaching team, particularly with the mentals, goalkeeping, the defending, and the fitness, that is going to make us better, surely. And uh, we'll see what the assistant manager recommends because I'm pretty sure he's going to recommend we start to decrease the workload on some of us well, Valencia signed Olivier Giroud okay um, Barcelona we are 7 points clear of Atletico de Madrid and 14 points clear of Real Madrid all with the same game number of games played so we've won 21 drawn 2 lost 1 out of the 24 plus 56 goal difference we're just getting better we're getting absolutely better um, oh that's not good Igleter our director of footballs took it upon himself to uh, try and put pressure on Atletico de Madrid um, they know what they have to do in order to match our result but that they can often have a negative effect on players 
especially if they have questionable mentalities. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> Danny Olmo and Leon Bailey are pleased with that, though. Um, Danny Olmo's looking like he's improving. He is on long. Oh, don't need improving long photos. I'm mumbling now. Match sharpness. Let's see. Well, we'll see in four days what the squad looks like to uh, to us and who we can actually use. And who's going to be fit, who's not going to be fit for that Man United game. Uh, you can see there we've got half a dozen youngsters all fit, possibly for a game after the United game. Which is going to be Getafe. Um, where are Getafe in the league? They are 15th. So I think we'll rotate the squad for the uh, Getafe game and play our best team for a Man United game. So we'll come back for the next Barcelona game. And I will see you all soon. Take care of yourself. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Have a good day.